hello and welcome back to another video on my channel um in this video i complete my first page for my august project life um it is going to be one of four pages i do for august as it's always a very busy month um being the school holidays here in england and um my grandma has been tending to come over from america um to spend it with my parents my dad's a teacher so <laughs> He gets the whole month off so you tend to end up doing quite a lot and it tends to be quite a heavy holiday month um so these first pictures are all from or nearly all from um when we went up to norfolk for a week um to the seaside um and stay in a cottage so um that's what these photos are from um i am once again using the cartabella summer collection um I feel like everyone might be getting slightly bored of this collection by now, but I just absolutely love using it. Um, it is just so gorgeous and summery. And I feel like it's so easy once you have all the supplies out to just keep going with different scrapbooky layouts, um, just kind of following the same formula. And kind of when you get a bit stuck looking at the page you just did, and kind of seeing, oh, I can add that next. And then I end up kind of making them very similar. So I'm just using my Tombow brush pen to write out the title. Um, I can't remember exactly. Oh, wait, it's here. I thought it was somewhere on my desk. Um, it's colour number 25. Um, and it's this kind of nice, it's, it's a yellow, but it's on the orange side of yellow um which is just really lovely i really enjoy that um so i'm just going to fussy cut that out um and then i kind of place it on the title card i think that that um six by six paper lends itself so well to kind of being a title card but i think it would have worked a lot better for a month that had a shorter um amount of letters than august i think for june or july it would have been really nice because you could have kind of nestled it between next to it um but because august is such a long month name um it kind of has to go at the top so now i'm using my um posca paint pen the white one and it is the 3m size so i've just used that to kind of go and add highlights to it i find that that makes such a difference um i normally use a gel pen but um however you do it I find it makes such a difference just adding that little bit of white to the um, letters so that it just kind of looks a bit more interesting and kind of makes it feel a bit more 3D or kind of in yeah just more interesting I guess so now I'm making a little flip pocket um, because I had quite a few photos in August and I wanted to keep it for um, pages so one of them has coming up is a trip to London and there's quite a lot of photos on that one page and it was only one day um and then this one I kind of had to just add another little flap um just so that I could fit everything in um I I start st steamrolling ahead because I realize that this is going to be on the back so I'm going to have to use my fuse tool to if I want to adhere a pocket to the back but then I at the last minute kind of remember that if I put it in the top pocket, I can have it flap over. Um, so I do end up sticking this down now and then have to having to like kind of pull it back up so I can sandwich a piece of paper in between to make the hinge. Um, so I realise it is how I don't can't, how quickly do I realise it, um, but I do quite quickly realise that I have to pull that back apart. Um, so. While I'm going to be faffing around about that, I'll tell you a bit about the photos. So the photos that are currently in the top row, the ones on the left are both from a steam train that we took um, from Holt to um, Sheringham. It was really nice. Um, very like old fashioned English steam train. Um, everything kind of restored to its um, how it would have been back in the day. And my grandma was loving telling us about how it used to be like that when she was a lot younger. Um, and so that was really fun and she definitely enjoyed that. And it's been used for um, TV and like film purposes 
because it's obviously a very histor historical site. They don't have to do too much to make it um, accurate for their film and TV. Then the photo on the very top right is us in an arcades. Um, very British being on the 2P machines. Um, we were having great fun doing that. Um, with this little flap, I'm tr trying to line it up and make sure that there is a tiny little gap. You need the tiny little gap so that when you fold it over, the paper goes has enough room to fold. Um, so quite often I kind of fold it over and then stick it down, but I just kind of guessed and left a little gap um, just so that it would work. And then just to make sure that it st stays in place, I fight with the sellotape and then stick it down. And you can tell I'm so used to using washi tape because I try and rip it like washi tape and realise, oh no, this is sellotape, it's not going to work. Um, so that was a bit of a pain. And then this is where I move it down. So um, now looking at the photos that are on the top are some photos from when we went to play mini golf. Um, my family are big players of mini golf, or me, my brother and my dad. Um, have always growing up played a lot of mini golf <laughs> so we're very very competitive about that um, the photo then below those is us having our slush puppies after we finished mini golf so it kind of makes sense to have those photos that way around anyway um, so they are from when we finished um, and were celebrating finishing with a nice little slush puppy and it was quite fun because it was a, like do-it-yourself one so you can mix it up yourself um so that was very fun so now i'm using tags again um from the simple stories um spring easter collection um from a few 2021 and i'm starting to realize that if i see a tag sheet i like from simple stories and the colors on that tag sheet are like ones that I'd use a lot I should just buy multiple <laughs> ones of them because to be honest it's only the colors that matter on those sides it's not really um got anything to do with the kind of theme so I think it'd be quite good to stock up with quite a bit of um tags so that I can just add them as they just make such great journaling spots I think they're just so much more interesting they don't leave too much space for you to have to think about what you're going to write but just enough that you can add all the details in um so once again i've used a bit of ribbon from my um stash um and i've just put the tag slightly lower down so that the ribbon stays as it is a back page um so i you can kind of see if you go and watch the video where i do my july um first page it there's a lot of similar elements on that page such as the tag and the writing out of the tombow the month name so i feel like sometimes i just get into a real rhythm of how i'm going to do things it just makes things that little bit easier when you kind of are following the same structure or kind of once something's in your head of how you're going to do something it becomes a lot easier um so then the photo on the middle left is um, me and grandma in our reclining chairs watching my dad and my cousin play a bit of badminton. Um, we all love a bit of badminton when it's up in the summer. Um, it is very fun just to kind of play. Um, I can't do tennis, I'm awful at tennis and badminton is just like a little bit slower so I just feel like I'm a little bit better at it and it's very good fun especially when my brother's around just to have that up so that he can just get rid of all his energy playing badminton then in the bottom left hand photos we have us playing um, a game called hues and cues which hues and clues which i found on tiktok and it's been very fun it's a lot harder than like i thought it would be um you have to describe colors with one word and then you have to describe it with two words and it's really hard not to say a name of a color so when you like think about colors so many colors are just named after objects so we kind of have decided that as long as you're not saying the rainbow names that's fine because obviously still there's a scale um but things like lilac that's a flower but it's also a color name um, and I guess everything can be a colour name, really, when, like, I feel like, you know, when you're looking at actual paints, a lot of things get used as 
names for different colours. Um, so it kind of makes it quite hard. Um, so we kind of have come up with those rules. Um, and I wonder if you've got a group of scrapbookers together to try and do it, whether they'd be any better at trying to name these colours um, and get people to guess them. Um, when you when they're kind of like true colours, it's sometimes a bit easier. So if you get a proper red, so you might have to say something like ketchup. But you don't realise how hard it is. And I think it's also hard because the colours don't go that dark. They're very l bright to light colours. So there's less kind of natural things, I guess. I don't know. So um, I've now got the Cartabella Summer sticker book out. And I'm just going around and adding some stickers i've used i had like these end bits of um the washi tape strips from that book and i've managed to just kind of add them as kind of like flags or tag type things um so i'm quite happy with that i think i keep looking at that flap and then just kind of deciding that it is already quite well decorated um and doesn't really need much adding in terms of decoration i think it would become quite over cluttered and especially because it's on the flap i try not to put too much like heavy embellishment on the flap just because it is out of the page protector and i think it probably is quite would be quite easy to like fall off um so that's kind of just my logic with that I've now got these puffy stickers, which I can't remember the collection of, and I've obviously cut it all off, and that's the only thing I have from that collection. So I just can't remember what that collection is called. It's one of the Spanish-y, like, pastel-coloured collections. Um, so I'm just going around and sticking a few of those on. I kind of look at those every time, because they are some very strange icons. So I kind of think, while it makes sense, I will add them all. Though we didn't have ice creams in any pictures, we definitely had ice creams while we were away. Um, so I'm just going to get the ice cream used up. Um, now I kind of go round and I fiddle for ages trying to fit these little leaf things on. If I'd have placed the August centrally, I think it would have looked really good. But as I was pulling it back up, it was ripping the paper. Um, so I decided against doing that. But I think that would have made it look quite good. Um... I think actually how I just had those was quite nice, but I obviously decided no and was going to go with the hearts, but then I struggled with the hearts for ages. And that first placement of the hearts looks good, but that, that middle bit between the I Love Summer and the cart just really annoyed me for ages. I think when I pulled that out, I thought this would be a great, really easy title card, and then I just really struggled with it for ages. I guess if I had, like, date stamps, but then you don't need it for when it's the whole month. Um, that would have filled the gap but now I just go around and put these little hearts on and I actually am running really low you can't quite see it in this video but that little gap is getting very low after the next day out and I actually then went on to AliExpress and ordered seven more packs of them I don't don't ask me why I did seven it was something to do with getting free money off but um yeah, so because I've used up one pack so quickly, I've now ordered seven more so that I don't run out for quite a while. Because um, I do tend to find that on AliExpress, the sellers disappear. So even if you can find the item, they might have moved it if it wasn't that popular. So I'm just going to grab some more while I can. And I got some more of my stars just because it's so cheap. I think the packs of hearts, they're not that big. But they're only like 70p and then one pound something shipping. So that's why I ended up getting so many at once. Um, just to save on all of the shipping cost. Um, so that's exciting. That will be a surprise when it comes in the post. Um, so I'm excited for that. I love getting a bit of mail. Especially happy mail. So um, I think that is pretty much all that I do for this layout. Um, I absolutely love that glue pen. I got it from Paper Maze. I think you can get it from everywhere. Um, the brand is Sticks. Sticks to anything is the brand, I think. Um, and it's just really good. It's acid free. And it, yeah, sticks everything I found, really. Um, yeah. So that I find that really good. Um, and because it's a pen, it's so much easier to apply. So just, what am I doing now? Oh, I had a final bit of that. That Oh, I was adding a label on to fill that gap. And then I added it in so that it kind of 
just wasn't wasted. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the third voiceover I've done today and I feel like I'm going delirious because it's all the same products. Um, I mean, I have also scrapbooked three layouts that are all the same products today, but that feels a lot easier than trying to talk through three times about the same stuff. Um, I end up using up quite a lot of these little phrase stickers, um, which, fun fact, my boyfriend absolutely hates. He says they're cringy. So um, he always says that's the only thing you'd change about my layouts is take off all of the cringy little word stickers. So let me now know down in the comments what you think about little phrase stickers. Do you love them? Do you hate them? I feel like they just look so, it fills spaces so nicely that everyone just absolutely loves them. But obviously not everyone. So let me know your thoughts down below. So here's just a quick close up at all of the little embellishments. I, if you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.